Good morning, everybody. We're going to continue the week of reviews with another song review. This time, we're going to take a look at a song that I first heard on a Crosby, Stills, and Nash DVD. And if you check the channel, I did a contest entry where I included this song where I talked a little bit more. I talked a little bit about it, but I wanted to give it its own review. Um, this is, this is a song that I've talked about several times that I first heard on a Crosby, Stills, and Nash, um, video, and then I bought the, its DVD counterpart, but the video was, um, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, the acoustic concert, and... Uh, one of the songs from that is a song of Graham's called Try to Find Me. And I, um, it is a very, very, very special song to me. Um, and it is a song that Uncle Graham, that Graham wrote in response to the very first Bridge School Benefit Concert. Uh, the story goes, and I can I can tell the story in my sleep. Crosby, Stills, Nash Young were performing, were, were playing, and Graham saw this little boy and girl in the audience. And the little girl started to get upset because she wanted to get out of the concert, you know, because it was too loud or something or whatever. And um, so the little boy that was sitting next to her in his wheelchair took the time, and this is, uh, this is the most moving part about the, about the whole about the whole story is that he took the time to hold this little girl's hand and he made her stop crying and in that moment the song was born but in my view the song Try to Find Me is about trying to not unlike um, Neil's trans album, because to me that and this song "Try to Find Me" are one and the same. Because trans, I think, was written. The whole record was written about. Was based around. Uh, communicating with somebody that can't and try to find me it, I think is about that too because in particular there's um, a line it's about it's about I think it's about you know trying trying somebody that's to somebody that's struggling to communicate but can't be heard because there's a there's a line in the song that says uh, and I'm paraphrasing uh, I'm in here or something I can't remember uh, but this song has always been very very, very special and moving to me. And I remember, you know, for years, you know, I remember back when I used to, because I had made a couple video, a couple video compilations of some of my favorites from some of my uh, music videos. And I remember 
choosing uh, try to find me as one of the clips, you know, um, because I just love the song so much, and, um, you know, I remember wishing and hoping that Graham would record it and put it on a record, you know, and so, and then I, uh, this was when, and then a couple years, I think in 08, my uh, mother and I went to see David and Graham at the Uptown Theater, and it was, um, it was right around, <laughs> <coughs> sorry, right around the time that Graham was um, working on the solo box sets for him and David, because he was the one that curated, curated both of those releases. And um, I remember seeing, I remember being so excited that he had, he had, they had Graham's box set for sale because I think it had been out, um, it had just come out not too long before the show. And, um, you know, I remember looking at the track listing and being so excited to find, try to find me on there because it was one of my all time fa favorite songs. And I remember wishing you know, back when I was, um, back when I was, you know, watching the own video, I remember wondering what the, what the studio version would sound like, and the studio version is tremendous. I mean, I think it features, uh, Russ Kunkel. I know it does, because I think I can tell his drum pattern, because I think it was recorded right around the same time that Graham's album Songs for uh, Survivors came out because it has that kind of sound. And uh, it, um, it, al it also features, I think, Dean Parks in spots. And um, it's just a tremendous version and it's one of those songs that I just love to pieces. And Graham has the ability to, you know, move me to tears, which he has done uh, on countless occasions with his voice. And Try to Find Me is one of those songs where it's so emotional to me, sometimes I can't get through it without, you know, without crying, and actually, every time I, every time I jam to it, I always dedicate it to Ben Young, Neil's, uh, Neil's son, along with, um, along with, you know, uh, when I do transform them, and I always do that for Ben too. And I remember um, when Mom and I went to see Graham when he was out on his on um, out on one of his solo tours uh, a couple years ago. I remember. Calling, calling for trying to find me, but he didn't. He didn't do it. And I remember. Um, I wish I would have remembered to mention something to him when I met him in 2012 of how you know of how much that song meant to me. And um, and I was hoping that I would be able. To, I would have been able to talk to him again when I saw him at his, you know, when I saw him by himself, 
because I would have mentioned it to him then, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, but I urge everybody to check this song out because it's very, very, very moving and you will love it. And I hope you love it as much as I do.